What is up guys, it's Aaron from Ready Visuals and in today's video we are reviewing this, the Nitsa camera cage for the Sony a7 III and go through some of the reasons why you might want one for yourself. So I guess I'll see you after that intro. By the way, just in case you've noticed, we're in a different location today. We are in Edinburgh, Scotland for the week. So anyway, if you're a video shooter, a YouTuber, content creator, etc., you may have seen people filming with these kinds of setups with like a cage. Now, essentially a cage is basically just a metal housing that goes around your camera like this. It's kind of like a, like an exoskeletal suit for your camera. Now the most, like probably most well-known company you might have heard of is Smallrig. So when Nita got in touch with us to review their cage for the Sony a7 III, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that guys, by the way, we thought this would be a great opportunity to share with you guys why they can be really useful. So we have used cages in the past, but we've actually never owned one ourselves. So Nita did kindly send us one of these to review and keep. So full disclosure, this is not a paid promotion or a review, but we did get one of these sent for free. So a big thank you to Nita for that. Now Nita themselves do make a a range of camera accessories like cages, supports, rigs and tripods, sliders etc. So definitely go check out their website and Amazon store. There are links in the description box below. There's a cool bus going by the window right now. Oh cool bus! Okay now this cage is specific for the Sony a7 III and similar shaped bodies like the a7 II and R3 but they do make these uh, for a range of other cameras as well so check the links uh, most likely your camera is included. So you can buy this as just the cage alone or you can get a set that comes with the handlebar on the top and also like a bigger kit that has like sliders and stuff. Now we have here which is the cage and handle kit and this is going to save you back £125 in the UK which is about $160 US. Okay so now let's get into the benefits of this cage and why you might actually want one. So the most obvious benefit of getting a cage like this is the camera protection. Like I said before you're basically adding like an exoskeletal suit or like some armour for your camera. Now this particular cage is made of anodized aluminium alloy. I keep saying aluminium for some reason. Uh, so it's very strong but actually at the same time it's fairly fairly lightweight. You're basically adding about 500 grams to your camera setup but having this is going to make your setup way more durable and if you think about how much you use your camera, how much you rely on it for your YouTube, your freelance work, your income etc. It kind of makes sense to protect your camera, your investment by having this cage on it. It is actually going to help quite a lot if you're constantly out and you're running and gunning and shooting in like harsh environments. I feel quite confident if you're going to drop this for example the cage would reduce the damage substantially to the camera compared to not having it on at all. It's kind of like having like a bicycle helmet. It might not make you indestructible but in a lot of cases it could be the difference between life and death and I do feel like that the same thing applies with the camera cage. The you know your lens is gonna die. <laughs> It won't protect the lens but it will protect the body. I really like the way they've designed the cage itself as well because while it is protected none of the actual important parts are actually blocked off so you still have complete access and control to all the buttons, uh, the memory cards, slots, the ports as well as the battery at the bottom. So that's really convenient. Installation of it is also really easy. It literally just slides on and you screw the cage uh, onto the bottom of the camera. So it fits on very securely and with very strong stability. There's no like, it feels like it's pretty solidly on there. I also really like the HDMI cable clamp which secures the cable and keeps it protected because I can't tell you how many times I've broken these cables by like pulling it out. So that's a really nice bonus. Now adding this weight might seem like kind of kind of counterproductive but actually if you're filming video having that little bit of extra weight does help with handheld shooting particularly with this setup that has the handle because I often find with lighter cameras it's a bit more difficult to get like to get very nice stable shots but with this having that extra weight as well as the handle it's very easy just to get really nice, stable, smooth shots, uh, particularly if your camera has good IS as well. So that's also a really nice added benefit. The other major benefit to having a cage like this is it has a bunch of quarter inch and three eighth inch screws and also a couple of cold shoe mounts as well. So this means that you suddenly have this fully modular customizable camera setup where you can pretty much attach and unattach whatever multiple accessories you might need on the day. Now usually if you just have the camera you're able to maybe attach one thing on the top, 
one single monitor, one microphone, and that's pretty much it. But with this cage, you pretty much have an unlimited number of setups that you can possibly imagine. Now for me, this is a pretty big game changer, particularly if you are a freelancer or you're working in a professional environment, you're now able to have this fully customizable setup specifically for whatever project that, that you might be doing. And I did find that once I started filming with this cage, it was quite difficult to go back to not having any cages at all. People, there's literally people waving to me outside. People in Edinburgh are very friendly. Uh, yeah, so pretty much the amount of configurations using a cage is kind of endless really, which is actually very, very cool. Now the only downside I can think of that I've encountered personally using a cage like this is that it makes it quite difficult to mount onto a gimbal. So we use a one of the bigger gimbals, the Zion Crane 2, but it's not ideal as you're adding more weight with the cage to something that's already quite like cumbersome and clumsy. And I would imagine on a smaller gimbal, it'd probably be impossible or like very, very difficult. It's not like a major issue as I feel most people using a cage would probably use it for shooting handheld anyway. But if you are thinking about using this cage on a gimbal, that added weight, it just makes it that little bit more difficult to, to balance onto your gimbal. Okay, so to summarize, let's answer that question whether you need one of these or not. It obviously depends on the kinds of videos you're shooting and how many accessories you might need. So I think if you're just shooting simple YouTube videos and you just need a microphone on top of your camera and you're vlogging, then it might not be super essential for you. However, like I said before, if you are a little bit more serious about video shooting, you know, you're a freelancer or you're doing bigger projects and you need access to multiple accessories, a monitor, a microphone, an external light, then this actually can be essential for you. That ability to create like a fully modular setup, as well as that added protection as well. If you think about the fact that you're spending a thousand, two thousand, maybe even more on your camera, that peace of mind, it's very difficult to go back to not having a cage. So at 125 pounds for this particular setup, that might seem like fairly expensive for what it is physically, you know, just a bunch of metal bars covering your camera. But it is actually quite cheap if you think about what benefits you're actually getting and also the potential money that you might save from any accidents and damage. So absolutely for me, this is already quite quite important, it's become indispensable to me. And it's a really simple addition to my setup, but one you know, one of the most important as well. It's very, very well designed. The build quality is fantastic. So in my opinion, it's worth the price and getting a very strong recommendation from me. So that's pretty much it in terms of the review. Uh, if you have any questions about this cage or anything else, leave a comment in the, sec in the comment section below and I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe if you're new here. You can also follow us on Insta and Facebook somewhere here. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess I'll see you on the next video. Thanks guys. Peace. There's a man with a kilt. Oh my gosh. It's not even a stereotype. People are just walking around with kilts. Well, we saw how many people with kilts have we had? I've seen three different people with kilts. We're getting sidetracked. One of them looks like a builder.